Well, Sam, that seemed like um, a really challenging ride out there for everyone today, I think. What did you make of it personally? Oh, you know, it was absolutely brutal, but um, that's these are the races you dream of. These are the guys you want to ride with. Um, it's just an all-out war and something pure and simple is just pure bike racing, and that, that's what it was. So, you know, I can't complain. Um, it was a dream. I mean, maybe from a neutral perspective, it'll have probably been a, a great show all round, but for you guys actually out in the field there, it must be a real challenge when it's that aggressive. Oh, yeah, it was super aggressive. Really, it's probably the most aggressive race of have raced, but... Um, these are the things that you dream of, you know, these are the races that you want to do and um, we gave absolutely everything to be there and, and, and it's just the way it plays out. Well, four years ago, obviously, you competed on the Gold Coast as well. How would you compare this experience to that one? Oh, well, last time was my first, you know, pulling on the Isleman jersey is special in its own right. There's nothing um, quite like it. Um, I'm lucky that I get to race for Team Nova Nordisk day in and day out and that's like, you know, to inspire the diabetes population and community and to do that today with a Manx jersey on is incredible. So um, to compare it to the Gold Coast, I think is pretty hard, but um, this was special. This was like probably the most special, you know, with the group of athletes, the group of lads, the group of girls we have, everything, this is uh, unbeatable. Because this has really been a landmark year, and I think um, Cav told us a couple of weeks ago the fact that we can field two uh, men's and women's teams, full squads in both. You may not have thought that maybe 20 years ago. It shows just how far Manx Cycling's come and how much further it's got to go in the future. Yeah, it's unbelievable because you look at it and probably every single team were looking at us and to say that every single team is looking at the Isle of Man in the Commonwealth, you know, it's pretty special and that's insane, you know, and we come in with this extra aura around having Kevin Swifty, so no, it's special and to, to put everything on the line for those two is uh, an absolute privilege for me, so I wanted to do that justice, so I hope I did and um, hope those guys are as happy as they can be, so, you know, it's, it's one of them, we'll go and debrief and go from there. And just one final question, a point you touched on before, everything you do in cycling revolves around a very important cause, yeah. um, raising awareness and obviously support for those affected by diabetes yeah. in Nova Nordisk. With ev events like this, how far do they go in continuing the work that you do to support others? Oh, massive, you know, I've got my shoes on which are, are custom made with 50 names of uh, people in the diabetes community who want to rep help me represent, you know, I'm not wearing a change in diabetes, driving change in diabetes jersey today. Um, so for me, I wanted them to realize that just because I'm not wearing the jersey doesn't mean I'm not representing them. So uh, I made these shoes to show the population that we've got power, no matter what we're, jersey we have on we have power to change the world and that's where i want to start is step by step smile by smile so uh, hopefully i did a big uh, big job in that today